Iran on Tuesday formally unveiled its first domestically built hypersonic ballistic missile, joining a small but powerful club of four countries to accomplish such an extraordinary feat. The unveiling ceremony in Tehran was attended by Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi and a number of high-ranking military officials. including the chief of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, Major General Hossein Salami, and IRGC Aerospace Commander Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh. The missile, named FATA, literally the opener, by leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei himself, is a precision-guided two-stage solid-fueled rocket, with a range of 1,400 kilometers and terminal speed of Mach 13 to 15. This speed, along with movable nozzles that allow the missile to maneuver in all directions both in and out of the Earth's atmosphere, makes it immune to interception by all existing anti-missile systems. Describing the production of the new generation missile as a giant leap in Iran's missile industry, Brigadier General Hajizadeh said the missile has undergone all tests without any issues. What makes this feat unique? Before Iran, only three countries had mastered the technology to manufacture operative hypersonic missiles, namely Russia, China and India. Their models differ in launch platforms, range, payload, and hypersonic technology itself. Very few other countries, including the United States, have long-term hypersonic development programs, however, to this day without success or operational deployment. For example, the 2024 budget for the U.S. Air Force only includes provisions for technological development, but not for buying or fielding hypersonic missiles. Taking into account the presented model and the above-mentioned specifications, the Iranian FATA missile differs from all existing operational or developing hypersonic missiles. Speaking on the occasion, Iran's aerospace commander said the missile unveiled on Tuesday has many unique features and makes Iran only one of the four countries in the world to have it. He hastened to add that FATA cannot be destroyed by any missile defense systems, and its range is determined to be 1,400 kilometers. President Ebrahim Riisi commended the country's astounding progress in the military arena and said the missile industry has become indigenous that cannot be affected by saber rattling. He further noted that the military progress is a source of security and peace for the region. How has the world reacted? In recent years, Iranian technological achievements were accompanied by denial and ridicule in the Western media, however, this time the reactions were much more measured and balanced. Iranian drones, once described as useless toys by the Western media and so-called military experts, today have become a source of consternation for the West, with the US slapping a series of sanctions on Iran. Iran's homegrown radars and anti-aircraft systems were also the subject of ridicule until June 2019, when the most sophisticated US RQ-4A Global Hawk surveillance drone was shot down by the third corded system. The US response was also imposing more sanctions. In response to the unveiling of FATA, the U.S. Department of the Treasury sanctioned a network of seven individuals and six entities in Iran, China, and Hong Kong, citing links with Iran's ballistic missile program.
U.S. National Security Council official John Kirby said the Joe Biden administration has been very firm on pushing back on Iran's destabilizing activities in the region to include the development of an improving ballistic missile program. The remark smacked of frustration with Iran's growing military prowess. Israeli regime Minister of Military Affairs Yov Gallant tried to downplay the significance of Fatah, claiming that Israel would always have a solution to counter it. Radio Free Europe, a Western propaganda outlet, cited an expert as saying that Fatah does not appear to be as sophisticated as the hypersonic missiles that the US and China have developed. The report cited another expert as saying that there are questions as to whether it is really capable of accurately hitting its target at the very high speed that has been claimed. Furthermore Iran has considerable experience with high-precision ballistic missiles, proven in practice against terrorist bases in Iraq and Syria, as well as against moving targets in the Persian Gulf. IRGC Chief General Salami in February informed that Iran is also developing supersonic cruise missiles, which will be another giant leap in the country's missile tech, despite crippling sanctions. Despite Western rhetoric, Iran maintains that its missile program is peaceful and defensive in nature. 